YouTube, it's Haley. This is going to be my 26 week update, and I'm 26 weeks and 6 days pregnant today. Um, the last week of my second trimester. That's crazy. So crazy. I cannot believe that I'm going to be in the third trimester. The time has just been flying by lately, and I feel like the time that's coming up, the rest of the time is going to fly by even more because it's like all holidays, you know? It's almost Halloween, and then it will be Thanksgiving, and then Christmas, and then New Year's, and then Max will be here. So crazy. So, lately, like, since we got back from our trip, me and Rob have just been, like, super cleaning. Like, we've been in super cleaning mode because we found out we're not moving. So, like, <clears throat> the nursery, like, everything that needs to be in there is in there. All the furniture that needs to be put together is put together, but... There's still a lot of things that need to be done in there, but we haven't really done a lot in there so far right now. <clears throat> but we've been doing, like, everything around the house that we've been putting off, like, forever. Like, we cleaned out all the closets, got rid of stuff that we didn't need, and brought it to, like, donation centers. Um, we cleaned our garage. That was a big one, the garage. But, um, it kind of feels like we just moved in again, you know? Like, because we found out that we're actually staying here, so... Now that we know that we're not moving right away, we can actually settle in even more. But um, the next step is the nursery, so that's what's going to be going on for the rest of the time because everything else is done. Um, I will definitely give you guys a nursery tour when it's all said and done. I know I gave you a little sneak preview before, but um, things are going to be even different than what it looked like then. New things are that he moves around like a lot more now. I need to start keeping better track of it. I did get a kit count app that I was using um, a lot when we were away because when I was in the hotel room when Rob was at work, like, I didn't have, like, a lot of things going on, so it was really easy to keep track of. <clears throat> but since then, I haven't really been keeping up with it as well as I should, so I'm going to try to keep better, like, um count like at least set aside like maybe one time every night that I can do some kit counts and kind of like you know just just to see like what a, what kind of patterns there are but he does move a lot more like um sometimes I think like he's rolling I'm not really sure like exactly what the feeling is but there's like three different feelings I'll have one is like um like a kick or a punch feeling <clears throat> the other one is kind of like a roll feeling like I think like he's like rolling or something because it feels like Move bit, but not like an abrupt jerk. And then, um, the other one, like sometimes in my very low abdomen, it'll just be like pressure. Like, um, it just feels like I have a brick just sitting like very low, right in like the very bottom. But, um, yeah, so those are the three different things that I'll feel. But he does move a lot more during the day than he used to. Before he used to move mostly at night. Now he moves frequently throughout the day. So that's pretty cool. I enjoy every time that I get to feel him move. Um, sleeping for me has been a lot better for the past week. I'm not really sure if um, it's just because we've been doing so much cleaning. Maybe I'm just really tired from like doing a lot of stuff, but sleeping has been a lot better. Before I was waking up a lot in the middle of the night, taking quite a little while to fall asleep, but it's just been better. I think just because I'm really tired maybe because um, I'm not actually like taking any naps at all lately. Like I'll be really tired. Like earlier today I was really tired. So I was going to take a break and I was just going to take a little nap but I like cannot nap lately. If I try to nap I can't nap. So maybe that's why I'm sleeping better just because I'm tired. But um, I'm thirsty. I've also been like really thirsty lately. And I tried to drink, like, more fluids, more water, but, um, I don't know, I just feel really thirsty. And when I wake up in the middle of the night, if I wake up to go use the restroom or something, then, like, I'm like, I need a glass of water. I'll just be super thirsty, especially in the middle of the night. But, um, I found that lately my appetite has been down. Like, not like that I'm going back to any food aversions or anything. I've actually been quite aversion-free for a while. Like, um, just sometimes, like... Little things, like if they're like a really gross thing, will gross me up. But nothing's grossed me out in quite some time. 
but I'm just not as hungry as I used to be. I don't get, like, um, the urge to really... I haven't, I don't think, talked about cravings at all in any other videos, really, but, like, cravings for me, I don't really have any, like, um, it's just, like, very spur of the moment sometimes, like, it's just a uh, normal kind of craving that I would usually have even when I'm not pregnant, just, like, sometimes I'll have, like, a savory craving, like, salty or savory, and then sometimes I'll have, like, a sweet craving, but that's it, really, but, um, I just haven't been hungry. Like, before I was, like, really hungry, and I would, like, get, um, like, a really hungry feeling, like, a few times throughout the day, but I haven't even, just like normal times, like, I'll get hungry usually around lunchtime, and then I'll eat lunch, and then, um, like, nothing other than that, it's really weird, but I still tried to, like, eat kind of little things throughout, like, um, cereal and, um, different granola bars and stuff, but I just try to because it's harder now, like, I'm like, oh man, I'll be like, I ate a pretty, um, small lunch, and then I'm just eating dinner now, and what else did I eat today, like, um, a little breakfast, but, um, I'll be like, well, I think that I should just be eating a little bit more, so I try to keep up with a little bit of good snacks throughout the day as well, even though I'm not really feeling like eating them. Um, <clears throat> another thing has been... I have not gone to a prenatal fitness class since before I went home for my baby shower and visiting, like, home. So that's crazy. Um, I feel like, I don't know, really out of, like, shape. But I feel more in shape since we've been home, since, like, we've been running around doing a bunch of stuff and cleaning and stuff. But I'm definitely going to try and get back to that on this coming Wednesday. Because um, it's on Wednesdays. Um, a girl that's also in my fitness class had told me they started doing a Monday one as well. I did not go to that one today. I didn't feel like up for it, but on Wednesday I'm going to go and just kind of ease my way back into the class and try to, like, not miss any weeks because I'd really like to go to that class every week up until my labor because, um, you know, supposedly the exercise is supposed to help, you know, prepare all your muscles and everything like that for the labor. So I really want to keep up with that. Um... Another thing that happened recently is that, um, the other day Rob called me, um, because he's in the military every year, you know, you have to go and do, like, a doctor's appointment, and they just have, like, mandatory things that everybody has to do, like, um, they, um, to get, you know, like, a flu shot type thing when he went to go to this doctor's appointment. When he went, they, um, were saying he's gonna get the flu mist, but I had been told by my, um, doctor that me and Rob both should not be getting the flu mist because I'm pregnant. So when he texted me about it, I was like, ooh, tell them, remember, no, you can't do the mist, you should do the shot. But they were telling him, no, just the mist, you have to do it. And so he said, well, they made me get the mist, I had to, you know, like he just has to, he's in the military, that's what they said he has to do. So I was texting him, I was like, don't come home. I was like, I need to call my doctor because I don't know if that's okay or if that's bad or what. All I know is that I remembered them mentioning it, saying not to do it. So I called them, and only the, like, receptionist nurse was available. So she was like, oh, I'll ask the doctor and I'll call you right back. So I was texting Rob, like, oh, I still don't come home. Like, they're going to call me in a couple minutes. They'll call me back. So then she called me back, and they were like, oh. They said, like, basically that it was fine, but asked if I'd had my flu shot, and I told them I had not, and they said to go get it that day. So I went to go get my flu shot that day, and I have it, and, um, I don't know, I don't want to jinx myself, I don't feel like I'm getting sick right now or anything, but I haven't gotten my flu shot yet, because the last time that I got my flu shot was about three years ago, and I got so sick. It was like the first flu shot that I ever went and got on my own. <clears throat> I don't really remember ever really um, when or if I got like flu shots when I was younger, but it was the first flu shot that I um, went and got on my own because I was like, hey, you know, they say to get a flu shot, so I went to get it. And I got so sick. I was so sick for like a month and a half. It was crazy. I still have this crazy little breathing thing going on, but that's like off and on without the flu shot, so I don't know. But so far, so good. But that's just something that happened. Um, I think 
that Maxwell had a growth spurt today because my belly feels huge. Like, it feels so much bigger today than it has been any other day. I told Rob earlier, I was like, I just feel like I'm full forever. Like, I feel like that feeling that you get, like, after, like, Thanksgiving dinner or something full, that's just how I feel all day. But, um, yeah. So that's everything I have to talk about today, so now I will show you the belly. There's the front. Side. My belly button's still super shallow, but not poking out yet. Front. Side. Side. I don't know. I always feel like it looks so much bigger in person than it does on camera. It definitely feels bigger. It feels a lot bigger. <laughs> But yeah, there he is. It's so much harder to like, it's harder and it feels bigger to me today. But there he is, right in there. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.